Hi, I'm the Five String Fury, and let's make this quick. Now, I'm new to the MPC-1 workflow or the MPC workflow overall. I've never really worked with anything like it, and so it's all kind of strange and new to me. And I've watched a lot of videos, and it's been very cool to see all the people do all the wonderful things with it, but I'm not that guy, and I don't have any prior experience. So I'm making this up literally as I go. One thing I want to talk to you about today are sequences and arranging and song mode, because these three things are key for someone who thinks about music like I do. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I mean. Now one thing you see when you first get into your MPC after you've loaded your project or started a project or or got into a demo is you have what's basically called a sequence. Oops. The sequence is an interesting little little piece of uh, technology here in that each sequence can hold 999 bars which means you could literally do your entire song in a sequence and that would be fine. Uh, but sequence can also have multiple tracks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can have multiple, to, like, like just spinning the wheel, I got 27 right there and I can keep going. So you can have 999 bars and you can have multiple tracks and each track can have can be you can basically break up your your touch pads and each track could have a different instrument per pad and then you can have multiple banks so there are levels and layers to make this basically an insanely deep piece of hardware a sequence is a section of a song so for sequences, you could have things like an intro, you could have a chorus, you could have a verse, a verse two, maybe a bridge or a breakdown, however you want to look at it. But each sequence can then just be its own little contained piece of your song. Now there's certain things we can do with the sequence, like for instance, if we hit this little pencil icon, we can double the length of that particular loop. So we can take that four bar loop to an eight bar loop. We can make it half length. We can we can shorten it up. We can insert bars. We can delete bars. We can erase it all together. We can clear it. We can transpose it. We can bounce it to sample. We can copy a sequence from one sequence to another sequence. This is how you this is how you can build your song just out of each individual part. And this was game changing for me in the way that I think. So I just wanted to highlight that. Now the interesting thing to me, once you figure that out and you build your sequence and you kind of have it the way you want, you want to move on to your next sequence, what I started to do is I would basically come in here and I would copy that sequence to a new empty unused sequence. Give that new sequence a name like bridge and then once I had that new sequence in 10 then I can come in and edit that to be unique to what that section of the song needed to be whether it needed to be long or short or whether it, whether it needed to have additional instruments or if I needed to take some instruments away now I can work in that particular spot and have that sequence be unique all unto itself the next part to that is to hear those sequences that I've created in in or in context of one of each other there's actually this next sequence button that you can click and what you get to see here are the various sequences arranged where you can pick the ones you can start a sequence hit play pick the sequence you want to hear right after it and you can either do next bar or if you wanted to just do suddenly move to the next version or you can just let it finish its natural progression and then it would switch over to the next sequence. So this little idea helped me take those individual sequences and put them together in context and get an idea of the actual overall song I wanted to build. Now that brings me to my next thing that I discovered here. If you go into the menu, you actually have an icon for song. And it's very similar to that sequence menu we were just looking at, that sequence screen. Only difference is here, we can actually arrange our song 
using the sequences that we built to actually get a flow and understand how the song is going to go and how each sequence will lead into the next sequence. So this is kind of at the end when you've made all the individual sequences the way you want, you can arrange them into a song. And then it gives you options to even export that to say a track or a WAV file that you can then take to your normal DAW like Ableton. Or you can export it into a file and put it onto another pad. Like I said, this thing has levels, it gets deep. Basically, I wanted to cover just that bit today because that was game changing for me to actually see sequences and actually use them as the building blocks for songs and to be able to make a song doing that manipulation. Okay, so hopefully that little look at sequences and and arranging and song mode on the MPC-1 is helpful to someone other than me because like I said, that was game changer for me to help me understand how to work with this machine. I have nowhere near tapped anything on this machine. It is fun and this is me stumbling through. Look out for more videos like this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.